in Panda Express, man, those guys know how to stack on the food. Or is it just me, or do they stop putting chicken inside their orange chicken? All right, so three weeks ago, I posted a video about lane splitting, and 11 days after I posted it, it just took off. And now it's at about 69,000 views, and it's gotten 565 comments, which is a lot. And there's plenty of people that have expressed negative views about lane splitting and uh, basically I just I have some theories about why there's this division between people in cars and people on bikes basically People that are in cars stuck in traffic, they're going to hate us no matter what because we're not stuck in traffic, we're moving, um, but I understand that a lot of people split lanes, they're going way too fast. What you people in cars need to understand is that if you, rode, if you rode a motorcycle for a week, you would see how much we deal with with people in cars being dangerous on the road. Now I know in my video I said something about me hitting mirrors or me smacking mirrors with my hand. Let me just tell you this for the record. I've logged 200,000 miles on my bike splitting lanes and I've maybe tapped mirrors half a dozen times and I've only slapped one mirror with my hand because the lady was driving like a complete maniac trying to kill me and uh, you know, that's it. And it's not like I've smacked the crap out of their mirrors. I've just barely glazed their mirrors with my mirror. Uh, you think I want to be smacking my mirrors on their mirror? Uh, this is scratch my bike. I honestly think cagers hate us because we have the freedom of the road. We get to go to the front of the line at every red light. We're not stuck in traffic. We're not waiting in front of You know, it's like we're taking cuts. And, you know, when you were a kid in school, nobody wanted to take cuts in front of you. Um, you know, we dart in and out of traffic. We come close to the cars. We come out of nowhere. We scare the crap out of them. I mean, you know, they don't have the time to see us coming, so I could see that. I don't think it's any reason to hate us, but, um, oh man, it is chilly today, man. My nipples are all hard. Whew. See that big old thing over there? Two of them. Blimp hangers for the Goodyear blimp. So let me tell you a little bit about what we deal with in regards to dangers on the road with you cars. I mean, basically the biggest problem with you guys is you're texting. And obviously you're texting, you're not paying attention, and that's a huge danger, okay? A couple guys left comments that were just like, dude, I hate you, I wish you'd crash and could never ride again, you know, this and that. I'm like, wow, that's pretty bad stuff considering I was actually trying to promote safer lane splitting. I don't know if they're angry about my mirror comments or what, but, um, you know, I was just cruising splitting lanes. Now, one guy said, well, what are we supposed to do? Constantly have our head on a swivel looking for you guys? It's like, it's not really that difficult to see us. Our only danger during lane splitting is you guys switching lanes in front of us. So if you do like you're supposed to do, and you actually use your mirror and look before you lane split, you'll see us coming. Um, it's these guys that just think, well, you know, a bike just went by, or I sense there's an opening here. I'm just going to jump into that opening that's the problem is you're not looking and if you look you'll see us now as far as giving us enough space I mean why is that such a problem I mean there's plenty of space for everybody we're not doing anything illegal you know if you want to be courteous and give us space that's fine if you don't then that just means you have a bad attitude and that's not good for our relations okay so texting is a huge problem way too many people have their nose in their phone when they're driving proper lane changes turn your signal on for 50 feet or something like that and switch lanes I mean how many of you guys do that you don't you don't use your signal half the time and if you do you, you turn it on as you're switching lanes that doesn't give anybody time to react but the number one danger to us is when you guys pull out in you know you're coming from a side street and you pull into our lane uh, right in front of us. It happens all the time and two things happen. We either need to brake hard to keep from rear-ending you or we literally just hit you in the side, T-bone you and go flying over your car. That is like the most dangerous thing in the world. It's like, what are you guys doing? Are you even looking 
for bikes. You guys are in your safety cage, we're not. Yeah, we make that choice to ride and we take a gamble by riding a bike, but that doesn't mean you guys can just recklessly drive around without paying any attention to us because we have every legal right to be on the road as you do. You know, I'll ride around with my brights on and like people act like they don't see me and I'm like, how do you not see me? You know? So this isn't a one-way road where there's just a bunch of bikers, guys on bikes riding around being hooligans and, and abusing the, the rules. Now, I will say there are a percentage of guys on bikes that ride like morons and don't obey the laws and just think they can do whatever they want on the streets and that looks bad for all of us but don't judge all of us by a minority of riders out there we're not all the same I personally don't judge all drivers by the actions of a few I judge every driver if some if the driver does something bad that's when I have a problem but you guys seem to judge all of us the same because you think, well, the guy's on a sport bike, so he must be a hooligan or something like that. I guess my point is, all you guys that left your hate comments on my video, you know, you need to understand what we deal with on a daily basis. Right around town, I mean, there's a lot of chaos going on, and it's because you guys aren't paying attention. So for you to attack us because we're simply lane splitting and it's too dangerous, this and that's like, okay, let me get, let me touch on that. I put out a video of me doing a track day called 150 miles an hour. I'm at the track doing 150 miles an hour. I'm in corners going 80 to 100 with guys four feet away from me and I didn't get one comment about how dangerous it was. But yet I post a video about lane splitting and all you guys are talking about how dangerous it is for us. You don't care about how dangerous it is for us. All you care about is that we're splitting lanes. We're not stuck in traffic and it just pisses you off. So if you don't you know, why don't you grow some stones and get a bike and come ride with us, you know? I mean, if it wasn't for all you guys in your cars balling up the freeways, we wouldn't have to split lanes. But all you guys want to be in your safe little cages and, you know, go out and buy a bike and learn to ride it and enjoy the experience of the freedom and uh, you, the adrenaline you can get from these things. It's like a roller coaster on two wheels. I mean... That's all I'm really saying. I don't hate you guys. Your hate comments to me are not really a big deal. I just, you know, I wanted to throw a, a perspective from our point of view on that. And, and I wish everybody safe travels on the road. Cars, bikes, everybody. I wish you well. So that's it.